Hello, my name is Sarah Westover McKenna. I blog at Bombshell Bling, and I am very proud to be an Usborne Books and More independent consultant. I used to be an elementary school teacher, and these were my favorite books, especially the nonfiction ones. They're amazing. They're the only books that some of my little boys would pick up. They're awesome for girls too, but I had had a group of little boys that didn't really like to read, but they loved looking through these books and trying to read the interesting facts. And now they're my favorite books as a stay-at-home mom. So today I am going to share with you our family's top 10 Usborne books. We haven't gotten to explore all of them, but we have a lot. And these are definitely our favorites. See Inside Your Body. This is our very favorite. My husband is in training to be a doctor, and he loves looking at this book with my little boy. He says that it has wonderful accurate, detailed information, and it's um, not only fun, but also a learning experience. So we've got here, everyone needs to eat a mixture of healthy foods, and then in here, fruit and vegetables give you long-lasting energy and help you fight infections. Or more down the body, it says if the food goes down your windpipe by mistake, you cough to push it back up. The food slips down your food pipe, esophagus, into your stomach. Open up, and it shows the food pipe, it shows the food going through. Your food pipe squeezes the food down in small balls. Okay, so my big boy, my six-year-old loves it. He loves learning stuff with his daddy about it. Um, my little girl, who's three, it's a little above her head, but she loves to look at it and open the flaps and ask questions. It's awesome. That's probably my number one. That's not my. This whole series is so awesome. For babies it's super cute our favorite is actually that's not my princess but my little princess must have hidden it so we're working with that's not my pig that's not my pig its tail is too smooth okay it's a touch and feel book that's not my pig his hooves are so bumpy you keep going through until the end that's my pig his ears are so soft okay little kids love this I mean there's everything every animal including meerkats, princesses, dra uh, yeah, dragons. There's holiday-themed ones. They're awesome for babies. They're super sturdy. My sisters have them. They love them. It's not just me. Okay, <clears throat> this is my favorite series that Osborne makes, The Big Book of. There's, then we have The Big Book of Big Bugs, The Big Book of Big Sea Creatures, The Big Book of Big Animals, and The Big Book of Big Monsters. I still want the big book of big trucks, the big book of big trains, the big book of space. I want them all. I'm collecting them slowly. So in this one, I believe most of the bugs are actually drawn life-size. It's kind of creepy, but also cool. Big stuff, wonderful pictures, great illustrations, wonderful facts. Some of the pages fold out. They're beautiful. They're sturdy. Awesome books. My favorite series. Okay, <clears throat> there's a mouse in the house. There's also one about squirrels like this. You have this little mouse. Our mouse has gotten a lot of wear and tear, so our pages are a little more beat up than yours will be because yours will be new. We've had this for years and years. There's a mouse in the house. You stick him through this little slot, and where's he going? He's on the next page. You read the story. A hungry mouse came out one night to look for food. I'll try the kitchen first, thought the mouse, and disappeared through the crack in the floor. He disappears through the crack in the floor. Ah, and he's on the next page. He's running away from the cat. He's got to run under the door. Oops. And then, whoop, he's on the next page. So you go all the way through with this mouse to the end of the story. Little kids love this. My big boy loves this. Uh, we still need to get the squirrel one. I really want it. Okay. Oh. And if you lose your mouse, there's a pattern on the back that's the right size, so you can make a new mouse. We've had a couple of close calls with that. Secrets of the Seashore. This is the Shine a Light book. This is kind of a new series for Osborne, and they're so awesome. There's Secrets of the Rainforest, Secrets of the Seashore, the Apple Tree. I got one for my nephew that I'm going to give him for his birthday called Sea Inside Trains, because he's obsessed with trains. So... Anyway, you go to these pages, you read the little story, or what's in the tide pool? Oh no, I forgot a flashlight. I'll be right back. 
awesome in the dark. My kids love to read it in bed in like where they just have one little lamp. I don't know if you can see it. Not really. Look, there's there's fish that show up. A starfish. Little guys. Hard to see in this bright, bright room, but it is super cool. I have a blog post with the same list of books, and there's pictures that I took in the dark showing through this. They're awesome. Maybe I'll read one of them on a video in a dusky room. 1001 Pirate Things to Spot. These are basically Where's Waldo in a million varieties. I have my eye on 1001 Things in Fairyland to spot for my girly girl. So we got this for my son when he was in his Peter Pan stage. He was obsessed with that movie, All Things Pirate. He was Peter Pan two years in a row for Halloween. So um, in this one, you have to spit, spot 10 cutlasses, seven tied up prisoners, five fist fights, 10 flintlocks, eight lunder buses. Woo. Very intricate, very fun. Kids love to look for stuff. Okay. We're a religious family, so we always try to read scripture stories at night with the kids, and um, I love this Osborne book of Bible stories. I don't have the other Osborne Bible ones yet. I'm sure they're awesome. We're going to get them someday, but this was the one that was great for little kids, and the wonderful thing about it, there's beautiful illustrations, and it's made to be a dual reader, so it says, the king had a strange dream, so that's for your beginning reader to read, and then down here, he dreamed that seven fat cows came out of the Nile. Then seven thin cows came out. So you can kind of read it together and take turns. Our son is in kindergarten. He's just barely starting to be able to pick up a little on this. Um, but someday, I'm pretty soon, hopefully, we'll be able to just read it together, which will be really fun. And in the meantime, I can read it to him, and he loves the stories. It also comes with a CD. And when I was teaching, I would use that a lot, listening stations. It's really helpful for kids who are developing readers to listen to a book on tape as they read along with it. It really helps with fluency and inflection. So that's valuable. A lot of the phonics books are like that too with a CD. Um, Muddle and Match. This is a new series and it's awesome. I love it. Okay, so Pete the plucky pirate pleads with Percy, his peculiar parrot, to prepare the paddle to paddle the Pacific. But if you turn it over, oh, there's a cowboy bottom. Oh, there's a race car top. Not only have you mixed up the characters, because there is a full race car guy back here, but if you mix up the pages to be all different parts of the body, then, oh, geez. Come on, let's be mixed up, people. Now we've got a silly picture. My three-year-old loves a silly story. My six-year-old loves. Pete the Plucky Pirate knows he will need to be nimble to catch the cunning criminal. That one actually kind of works. We did a really fun activity about this that's going to be on my blog soon. We did our own muddle and matches. We were inspired. Okay, 101 paper planes to fold and fly. My son is obsessed with paper airplanes right now. He used to drive me crazy because he couldn't do them on his own. But he's finally at the stage where he can fold them on his own and I don't have to fold 100 a day. This book is awesome. It came in my consultant kit. I probably wouldn't have thought to buy it, but um, it's great. So it has, it says how to use this book. So there's four different kinds of planes, and they're color coordinated, if you can see that. So you look on the fancy paper in the corner, and it has one of these colors, and then that tells the kid which instructions to open to to use. So there's all these awesome pages. My son is really whittled these down. Um, so there's a red one. So I pull out that page, find the red instructions, and fold my plane. And he wanted to make sure that I showed you some of his planes. So this is a good example of how the papers are unique for the different folds because it ends up, you know, looking like a really cool jet. It ends up looking like a really cool dragon. Or this one is just Woo! I want to add two more that I've gotten since I made this blog post about this, which is linked below. Um, Osborne's first experience is going to the dentist. It's just a little tiny book about going to the dentist. We read it before my kids went to the dentist. They knew everything to expect. It made them feel confident going in there. 
and we liked it so much and it's so cheap it's only $1.99 that we got one for our dentist and she was very appreciative of it especially the misspelled note that my five-year-old put in there the other one oh and there's a going to the doctor one too and I think going to school we don't have those yet the other one I wanted to mention is Jonathan James and the what if monster um, my little boy is an anxious little guy and so this book was really fun I won it I can't remember some sort of a giveaway or something anyway I was delighted when it came because I probably wouldn't have thought to buy it because I didn't know about it um, so here's Jonathan and his little what if monster comes and says you know don't climb the tree what if there's a tumble what if the you there's wind what if you slip and your knee gets all skinned he goes through all these what ifs you know what if in your room what if on the baseball team what if you run a race and you fall and your friends laugh at you and then Jonathan where's the page Jonathan says, now wait just a minute. I have something to say. After hearing what ifs all through the day, I hear all your worries. I hear all your claims. But what if you're wrong, said Jonathan James. What if I climb to the top of the tree and I never slip or skin up a knee? And what if I jump right into that pool and everyone thinks I look really cool? And he goes through all the what ifs. It's a fun little bedtime story, especially for anxious kids, but really for any kid. Kids worry about what other kids think of them. So, those are my top 10, well, I guess 12, Osborne books that are not activity books. I love the activity books, but I didn't include them in this. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll watch more of my videos. And if you ever want to get free or discounted Osborne books, we could throw a Facebook party together. That would be really fun. Just email me, bombshowbling at gmail.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.